So what do you do for a living? The dreaded question we all get asked over and over the older we get. For me, I would say I'm a filmmaker, a storyteller, a creator. But honestly, it's something I struggle with answering. The place I've gotten to see, experiences that I've had, and the people I've met would have never been possible without chasing this dream with a camera in my hand. There has always been one thing that has lingered in the back of my mind, no matter what opportunity came my way. Something that I thought I needed to validate what I do. To tell the story, we have to go back to 2019 and the early part of the NBA season. I was there to document the behind the scenes of D'Angelo signing with D-Wade's brand. Shout out to the legend, man. The shoot had big time camera rigs, lights, strobes, monitors. It was my first time seeing something like this. All I had known was this run and gun style of shooting, but it was then when the early stages of a dream started to blossom. It's just the beginning, Link Meyer. It's just the beginning, boy. For three years, that dream stayed in the back of my mind. Until one day, I got a call. So as you guys can tell, I'm in the gym and we just got approved to do this way of weight shoot. I knew I couldn't handle this alone, so I hit up some of my friends, Eric, Jordan, Ethan, and Trusty. Together, I knew we could come up with something special. With less than 48 hours, we got to work, with no idea where we could get this equipment. So we went from not knowing when or how we were gonna be able to get to all this equipment to actually getting better equipment and exactly what we needed to get, shout out Dodd camera. A lot less nervous now time to uh, go set it up and test all this sliding out. So have some fun. It is 6 a.m. here in beautiful Northern Kentucky. Nice two hours of sleep last night, you know. Easy. It's, uh, got, got my hours I needed in. Man. Today's a big day, man. It's the first uh, big shoot for the boys. First big shoot for myself. I can't really speak for anybody else, but I would assume for most of us, biggest shoot of our lives, but ain't nothing we can't handle. Oh, heavy. Nutritional breakfast here. Only the best for us, man. Only the best, man. Mickey D's. I've had more McDonald's in the past week than I've had in the past three years of my life. So We got to the gym with a little over two hours till D's call time, so we started to set up all our gear and prep for everything to go smoothly. So essentially, we just ran through the entire shoot two times to come to find out that we have to scratch our entire shot list and do it in an order that will make it super inefficient. When you think you have a plan, you probably don't have it. But just like that, it was go time. This shoot was something I'll always remember. Not because I got to carry out a dream that I'd had for three years or that I was surrounded by some of my best friends. But honestly, it's because it shifted my mindset. It was something that started as a dream and then that dream slowly turned into a burden. I felt that I needed to do this big time production shoot to be considered a real creator. But what does a real creator even mean? It doesn't matter if you take pictures for Instagram or a magazine or videos for TikTok or YouTube. At the end of the day, what you do is art. It's literally your art. Yeah, it's cool to have people appreciate it and enjoy it, but it doesn't matter how big you are or where your work gets seen. You don't need to get approval from anyone or do it a specific way to make it legitimize what you do. In reality, I was chasing this false validation that I put on myself, and it wasn't until we wrapped the shoot that I realized it. I'm done with all this fake narratives I put on myself, and I'm just going to chase the moments to bring out the kid in me.